Hi everyone, welcome to Type Talks. We have Chris from the YouTube channel Azure Psych with us. And today we'll be talking about the name mastermind given to INTJs and where is the grain of truth in it and where does it go too far with the label? And so, yeah, I'm wondering about your thoughts. Chris. Yeah, so I think that the, the mastermind term is, I don't think it's a bad term for the INTJ. I think it is one that like, over exemplifies the positive traits or or maybe one way to think about it is that like if you have a really healthy INTJ who's very developed then they can kind of have that mindset but you know you work with a lot of younger INTJs and you start to realize that many of them yeah they have a, a plan but maybe they don't have like the TE to actually back up that plan or they don't have the life knowledge or experience to actually kind of mastermind things but I do think that as INTJs get older, they get better at becoming those visionaries and they get better. And I think visionary, in my opinion, is actually a better better name for the INTJ because I think they develop a vision of what they want from the future and then they kind of orchestrate their life around making that a reality. And yeah, that kind of comes off as mastermindy, but mastermind almost has like a negative implication because it's like manipulative by nature. And I don't think that many INTJs are like that or at least most that i meet are good natured people they have the fi to want to be ethical at least a little bit um yeah sometimes they see people as resources sometimes they go a little bit too far but most of the intjs that i've worked with and like coaching and met with and stuff they tend to have like this is my vision and i don't really want to be involved with other people uh, so there's not much masterminding going on it's more so just kind of doing their own thing and getting what they want yeah, Mastermind almost has a little bit of a villainous connotation with it too. You think about TV shows and the antagonist and for them, they mastermind their grand strategies to take over something. It does have the connotation of manipulating, but I guess if you apply it to resources, those with extroverted thinking can feel quite adept and competent at maneuvering the resources around them. And so that can appear very mastermindy because every domino has a place and how the dominoes fall. And so there's a level of intentionality with how you carry out your aims and. Um, right. And sometimes it's not even like on purpose. And it, it's kind of weird because like when you talk to people who are always thinking about like how the next thing is going to play out, it can come off like they're attempting to manipulate you when it's like, it's so glaringly obvious that you can't not see it to these types. Um, so it's not even intentionally that they're trying to mastermind things sometimes. It's just they naturally see how things are going to happen. Uh, so they act in accordance to that to get an outcome that they want. And I think to the types who may not have that more naturally, that can be offsetting at times. Yeah. So sometimes the names come from how people see you on the outside, but from the inside, it may not feel like that at all because it just it just comes. And so Chris, you said that the term visionary is a better way of describing the INTJ. And I really like that because I do think it does encapsulate the personality without making it sound so glorified. Because sometimes people are hesitant to identify with something that seems so perfect, like archetype right. of all of the it has power strength. to it. Like it has, it, it has have, it has a power to it, a gusto. <laughs> You see, the thing with INTJs is you covered everything that I was going to ask you <laughs> without me even asking you because you anticipated where I was going to go anyways. So I was like, huh, you actually summarized the essence in quite a few words already. And so I feel like every avenue I would take would just be repeating itself. And so, yeah, I feel like this speaks for an INTJ quality right here, too. It's like, all right. I'm going to get the main point of what I'm going to say, and I'm going to say it in a concise, eloquent way, which is able to put the concept into a neat little package. Yeah, a neat little box. <laughs> efficient. <laughs> yeah, it's very efficient. So something to leave with this is that Visionary is probably a better name for INTJ, and Chris is really good at putting things into tiny little efficient bullet points. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> All right. And so thanks everyone for watching. I hope this gave you a little bit of a clearer idea of how INTJs are like. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.